Hello, this is Ray Main here again. We're reading. Today we're going to be reading from the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 10. Moreover, brethren, I would not that you should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea, and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and did all eat the same spiritual meat, and did all drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. But with many of them God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now these things were our examples to the intent we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. Neither be ye idolaters as were some of them, as it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink, and rose up to play. Neither let us commit fornication, as some of them committed, and fell in one day three and twenty thousand. Neither let us tempt Christ, as some of them also tempted, and were destroyed of serpents. Neither murmur ye, as some of them also murmured, and were destroyed of the destroyer. Now all these things happened unto them for examples, and they are written for our admonition, upon whom the ends of the world are come. Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. Let me stop right here just a second. You know, there's a lot of people that uh, don't make it a habit, if I can say it that way, to read the Bible. The 11th verse here says, Now all these things happen to them for examples or examples, the way we said today, and are written for our admonition. How are you going to know what those examples are unless you read the Word of God? Uh, just a little thought there. There hath no temptation taken you, but such is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. Wherefore, my dearly beloved, flee from an idolatry. I speak as to wise men. Judge ye what I say. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? For we being many are one bread and one body, for we are all partakers of that one bread. Behold Israel after the flesh, are not they which eat of the sacrifices partakers of the altar? What say I then, that the idol is anything, or that which is offered in sacrifice to idols is anything? But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that you should have fellowship with devils. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. You cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. Do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than he? All things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. You know, that one right, that one statement right there, a lot of people have trouble with. You know, they they think that they just can't eat, you know, whatever they want to eat. And that's just talking about food. They can't eat what they want to eat and all like that. But listen, all things don't edify. We all know that there are certain things that we put in our mouths and in our bodies that aren't good for our bodies. You know, they're lawful. We can... There's another place where he said that uh, all things are good if they're blessed, you know, if we ask the Lord's blessings on them. But we know too much cake and donuts and all that kind of stuff is not good for you. You know, so we need to have a little wisdom in that, don't we? Let no man seek his own, but every man another's wealth. You know, I've heard people take that and, and make that a, a, a statement that, you know, we, you know, to, to justify robbing people, <laughs> you know, so to speak, that uh, we're supposed to go around uh, looking for other people's money. That's not what that's talking about. Whenever someone has a, a walk with God, uh, you can see it on their face. You can see it in their life. That is their real wealth. We need to follow them. We need to talk to them. We need to question them. We need to observe them and see how they're doing it so that we can do it as well. That's talking about your walk with God. That's not talking about money. It's talking about knowledge. Okay? 
Whatsoever is sold in the shambles, that eat, asking no question for conscience sake. For the earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof. If any of them that believe not bid you to a feast, and ye be disposed to go, whatsoever is set before you, eat, asking no question for conscience sake. But if any man say unto you, This is offered in sacrifice unto idols, eat not for his sake that showed it, and for conscience sake. For the earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof. Conscience, I say, not thine own, but of the other. For why is my liberty judged of another man's conscience? For if I by grace be a partaker, why am I evil spoken of for that for which I gave thanks? Whether therefore ye eat or drink, or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. Give none offense, neither to the Jews, nor to the Gentiles, nor to the church of God. Even as I please all men in all things, not seeking mine own profit, but the profit of many, that they may be saved. Evidently, the Corinthian church, there were some folks in the Corinthian church that was uh, eating things that had been offered to idols, and it didn't make any difference to them. They didn't believe that, you know, that it was uh, an offering to a devil or an idol was going to hurt them because they were believers. Evidently, that's what was going on. But Paul here is telling them, look, these guys tell you that they're offered to idols and you, you professing to be a Christian, you go ahead and eat those. Basically, you're telling those folks that it's all right, you know, that uh, you believe in that as well. You know, whether therefore you eat or drink or whatsoever you do, do all to the glory of God. You know, we're an example to people. Uh, it remains to be seen whether we're a good example or a bad example. We've got to always be conscious that people are watching us as Christians to see how we do things, to see how we approach things, to see how we take things. And if you're conscious of that, then the chances of offending your brother or sister go way down. But anyway, I want to repeat this again. Whether therefore you eat or drink, or whatsoever you do, I wish I'd have just bolded that one. Do all to the glory of God. Whatever you're doing. If you'll do it with a conscious uh, thought that you're doing it for the glory of God. Not for your own desires, but for the glory of God. Uh, we'll get a lot further along. That's all for today. God bless. hope you have a blessed day.